it's very tricky when you're covering a story that is linked from many angles in a podcast because you're at risk of sounding redundant, repeating yourself, or just stretching for watch time and listen time. So I have to try and make sure that I'm covering this probably not probably properly in a proper way. I think again, all of these I picked are different angles on the same story, so I think they're worth covering. But this particular part, we are speaking uh, specifically about Asus, Lenovo, and Xbox being the official first partners to be taking advantage of Meta's announcement to letting third parties use their back end for creating their own XR headsets, that is Horizon. So Meta's they announced once again that operating system, that they're opening the operating system to third parties and has named three heavyweights that have pledged support for its newly renamed Meta Horizon OS, Asus Lenovo and Microsoft's Xbox. In a blog post, Meta says it's tapped Asus Republic of Gamers to develop an all new performance gaming headset. I need to belch. Oh man, that's dinner coming up right there. <clears throat> Lenovo to develop mixed reality devices for productivity and learning and entertainment, and Xbox to create it, and Xbox to create its own limited edition Quest. Now, this is a problem because I'm, depending on how I use that kind of headline thumbnail, if I use that thumbnail here, yeah, I'll make sure that people don't get twisted out of shape about clickbait and all this stuff as usual. Ah, man, these internet bitches. But um, it doesn't sound as extensive as the thumbnail may have implied. But it's still pretty cool. You, who doesn't want a Quest Edition, Limited Edition, Xbox orientated Quest? You know, you know um, everybody wants that. Liking it to a more Android style approach as opposed to Apple's Ward Garden approach with iOS and Apple Vision Pro. Man, everyone's after Apple, huh? Admittedly, Meta doesn't appear to be opening this OS up to just anyone. Again, sorry to any of you guys that had your ideas for your uh, VR XR headsets that you keep sending me. Uh, I'm not giving you any money to make them. Uh, I'm sorry, you're going to have to do it yourself. Uh, these are tough times. Speaking of tough times, don't forget to check out JustVRGaming.shop. We have affordable things that will probably make you not rich, but it won't make you broke and it will make you feel warm and happy inside. Now, Meta CEO Mark Zuckerberg has however said they're working with more OMEs so they may list or even so that list may be expanding fairly soon. All of these devices will benefit from our long-term collaboration with Qualcomm Technologies Inc. company, who sounds like a form of fish eggs, which builds the Snapdragon processors that are tightly integrated with our software and hardware stacks. It's getting super technical, isn't it? Uh, Xbox is pledged to create it. The limited edition quest will be interesting to watch. Although it could just be a simple branding deal, it may also be the opportunity for Xbox to use it as a nucleation. What the hell? New nucle nucleation? Nucleation. Nucle new nucleate they right, wait there. Scott, dude, seriously? That's like a big word. New nu uh, no, no, I lost the spot where I'm at. Wait, where was we guys? Nucleation. New nucle oh there it is. Use it as a new nuclear nucleation site for eventually integrating XR headsets into the Xbox ecosystem or beyond Meta's previously added support for Xbox Cloud Gaming on Quest, which lets players play. 2D virtual screen in mixed and virtual reality, which I still haven't covered yet. I gotta make that happen. You guys demand this from me. You demand better from your VRs. What's more, all of the OMEs working with Meta will have built VR headsets before. This includes manufacturers Lenovo, Asus, Samsung, Acer, HP, and Dell. Microsoft, of course, is also among them, who subsequently shut down the Windows mixed reality platform in late 2023. Did any of you guys buy the Windows Mixed Reality thing and was you sad about it being shut down? And also, was you surprised? Sometimes Microsoft has problems with real innovative stuff, don't they? Which is probably why Xbox is as boring as it is. Functional but boring. Let's discuss this. What do we think about this, guys? Are you looking forward to this Xbox Limited Edition Quest VR headset thing? It, it does sound like it's just a, a, a... It does sound like it's just like a plate or something or some kind of like... I don't know. I don't know what that's going to entail. It doesn't sound very... doesn't sound very deep. It does sound like it's just a branding thing. And I'd be surprised if it led to Microsoft going into the VR game again, especially with the games itself. There was a news article I saw that was suggesting that they not got no plans to take Hellblade 2 and make it VR. So mm, don't get too excited about the, the Microsoft Xbox uh, special edition, limited edition quest. It sounds like it's just going to be an edition of quests you can buy on Amazon. There are Amazon links within 24 hours of clicking that you could buy and have a limited edition Xbox branded lime green with probably camo version of a Quest headset, probably the Quest 3, you know? 
uh, not very exciting or is that exciting to you let me know if you guys are excited about that also of all of them asus lenovo xbox do any of those jump out at you as exciting or important or somebody that could give meta ironically a run for their money in the arena as one of the companies that have been selected for this and also do you believe do you believe in love after love i don't know why that came in my head i can see something inside you say i really don't think your ex are enough now do you believe in love after all right i'm sorry guys yeah, sometimes it just happens oh boy this is really gonna affect the push for monetization i'm so sorry we'll probably get like a uh, demonetized as well on account of the bad singing um but do you guys believe what the hell was i gonna say do you believe not in love it will come to me it will come to me so i get being silly i had to pause for a second i think it's come back to me maybe do you believe in the apple approach of the ward garden that gives you at least a consistency things just work so on and so forth someone has finally experienced a mac this is a windows it does offer quite a, a bit of stability and things do run a lot fast when it's run with that kind of console like architecture and so forth but do you believe that it's anti-consumer essentially with the way that it's locked off they've been getting a lot of uh, attacks and and court cases and all sorts with um their ward garden so to speak approach to things do you prefer this approach by meta and zux is zux now a good guy is zux becoming more popular among the people and among yourselves do you like what they're doing here i think this is um i think it's interesting i think any anything that brings us more headsets more more market saturation more options it's got to be a good thing it's a really nice looking like uh steam uh steam deck thing from msi right there that i'm seeing oh very nice so i imagine a similar thing will happen with the vr in this ad here like it'll be like you know they'll start seeing these headsets that are that's looking pretty sweet but especially if there's a bunch of price points and stuff like that um it could be pretty well again sweet so you guys agree you guys think that's a good thing there's loads of things to to, to quail over here why did i say quail because of quail com those are things to quail over here let's take a look at some of the comments some of the popular comments is this the best comments is that am i too early on some of these stories like two likes and stuff like this let's go with it i don't know what i'm gonna get here nevitz does this mean the game library will be available on these alternate peripherals now i don't know if i've covered that part or not yet but from what i understand or what i may have said already that is the case it will be available apparently and as isaac is confirming it yes and they'll have access to the same core software and platform services so yes it will be that's why i've understood it as well so keep that in mind when you're thinking about your comments and so forth it's a very opposite approach to uh, apple and uh, mike here says what about pimax crystal could we finally see a purpose to, to their standalone headset i've had a look at this pimax and there's a story i could cover about it i don't know if i'll cover it in this episode or not you'll know if you are watching the full thing i guess what i saw was it was like two thousand four hundred dollars so it's practically another apple vision thing and people are, are sweating over getting a quest very much less a, a, a primex sounds like some kind of max product or something but anyway response here let's see it says the new crystal models light and super are pure pc vr with no standalone function as the qualcomm xr2 and battery has been removed but a portable handle console also being dropped it's probable the standalone store that only had a dozen apps is being quietly sunset so that sounds not so great on the pimax side of things someone was mentioning the pimax in the in the comments on one of the videos it's not sounding too great for them uh, another one i'm impressed with my pronunciation there because with a j that's one right uh, this is too like too dislike though this doesn't make any sense since quest hardware is subsidized where's the profit for third-party hardware manufacturers well one let me explain it to you how does it work it works in the terms of the saturation of the product itself if more people are used to using vr devices and it becomes commonplace and it becomes easier to sell the software behind it and to sell the hardware as well itself it also drives the cost down as the technology becomes better and the knowledge base becomes better and the production becomes cheaper as the saturation point increases so essentially you don't necessarily lose money by having competitors use your back end and your store and have access to your store and so forth especially if you have products that you've made that you get money off of and especially if you're getting a cut of the payments made in that store as is typical with these app stores generally and i imagine that meta will be getting a cut from all that as well if that's what you were saying let me know if i've just nailed it or not there guys uh black c oh gosh that sounds almost like it's something else but that's what it's pronounced as b-l-a-x-c black x-c black black x-c oh boy 
Pressure says it should be much better for the advertised use case than a quest. That'd be a unique selling point. Okay. And this person here only trolls hide comments. Who gives a shit? This is a win-win for consumers, developers, and XR enthusiasts. Why is the financials of, of the participating companies even a concern of yours? Wow. Living by name there. I think we'll stop there on the comments. You guys can read more. It's getting in a little bit spicy in there. A little bit spicy for my podcast. I'm gonna I'm even gonna remember to, to, to beep these shits. So let me know what you think in the comments, Lily. Share your thoughts as ever. Asus, Lenovo and Xbox jumping on the Meta OS bandwagon is like the ultimate team-up episode. Excitement overload. This is seriously leveling up the playing field. With Qualcomm chips powering these headsets, it's like putting a turbocharger in a sports car. But what's really got me curious is how Xbox will integrate with this new ecosystem. Cloud gaming in VR could be a game changer. We're looking at a future where switching from 2D to virtual reality is as easy as saying arigato to your AI assistant. VRers, are you ready to choose your player in this epic game? Because things are about to get unreal. And you won't be surprised to know that this episode is sponsored by, well, yours truly, the Integer, aka Just VR Gaming, bringing to your attention the very cool websites that we have available for you that will contain and contains many cool VR related things from articles to PDFs, books, some free, some paid support in the channel, and the just VR gaming dot shop as well. It has all manner of cool merch to be showcased soon enough once I can afford my own merch and many other cool stuff. So do check those out, support the channel. Some options are free as well. You can use our Amazon links if you want to buy any of the VR stuff that we talked about, any of the devices and so forth. Yeah, use the link within 24 hours of clicking and it will count and you'll be supporting the channel for free and you'll allow me to make more videos, more regular, more sooner, and you'll be able to also upgrade Lily GPT's infrastructure so she can give even more unpredictable responses. It's this segment from the Just VR Gaming podcast is but a taste of the full episode available at justvrgaming.net slash podcast. 